At two o'clock in the morning on July 23, 1919, Johnny Brown was jolted out of bed after a fitful, sleepless night. Brown, a Salvation Army convert turned traveling preacher, rose and declared, I'll build that school. That school was John Brown University, and build it he did, in a cornfield on the western edge of Arkansas in a town called Siloam Springs. That school would be guided by one foundational belief, Christ over all. Construction began that August. In September, before the first building was even completed, 70 students and 10 instructors arrived on campus. From the very beginning, John Brown University was different than other academic institutions. With an emphasis on vocational training, it was a place that was preparing young Christian men and women of any means for a life of public service. Education, to be education, must train the hand as well as the head and the heart. JBU would be a place to learn, but also a place to worship and work. Head, heart, and hand, as it's become known, would be forever grafted into JBU's identity. JBU would slowly but surely mature from a junior college into a vibrant, accredited, four-year evangelical university. I think the founder did have a, a tremendous inspiration in bringing about this institution, getting it started. The university began adding professional programs in broadcasting, engineering, and education. An intercollegiate athletic program was added as well. A library, a science building, and the Cathedral of the Ozarks were completed and became the academic center of the university. Finally, with the implementation of a liberal arts core curriculum, the university secured accreditation in 1962. Cultural shifts brought changing styles and new opportunities, but JBU remained true to its spiritual identity. The mission of educating the head, heart, and hand has been intact for a hundred years. The, the ideal of Christ overall has been intact, and I think that's one of the great strengths of John Brown University. Student enrollment exceeded the goal of 1,001 by 91, and academics continued to flourish throughout the decade with the establishment of an honors program, a degree completion program for adults, and the graduate school. The new millennium brought with it 21 major building and renovation projects, and by 2018, the endowment topped $120 million in assets. Trebu has become a world-class university, in my opinion, no doubt. God would prove faithful to JBU, and JBU proved faithful to carry on the founding motto, Christ over all. The educational philosophy can change in its shape and the way it looks, but Christ over all hasn't changed at all. Uh, in fact, I think we're as faithful or more faithful than we've been throughout our history. And for me, that's the most important thing. To say a lot has changed at JBU in the past century would be an understatement. But to say a lot has not changed would be even more true. Although our buildings may look different, our faculty may engage in teaching, scholarship, and service in new ways, our staff may have jobs unheard of a hundred years ago, and our students come from more distant lands, yet we are still that school built on the foundation of Jesus Christ and guided by one simple belief, Christ over all. <laughs>